Hey, Tay here, so welcome to the VRTX channel. We have new leaks about the Meta Quest 3 as the newer and cheaper version of the Quest 3, and I'm gonna say it looks very interesting and yet concerning. This leak comes from our usual XR leaker Luna on Twitter, sorry, X, who had some exclusive looks at some dev kits and created a graphic about the Meta Quest 3 S, codenamed Panther Ventura. So, because we're making a video, I decided to dust off my Quest 3 to make a real-life representation of uh, what we're gonna get, as you can see. Because this thing will look and feel more like a Quest 2 on steroids than actually a Quest 3, strip off the features. So, well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna leave the image of the tweet over here. So if you don't wanna go in depth about every single thing, or if you wanna get just the basic information, well, you can look at it. I'm gonna leave the links in the description below. Uh, so you can go on Twitter, X, and uh, get the confirmation there with Luna that luckily gave us the leak. But further on, we're gonna go here step by step from the first part, and it is actual Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2. That is the same processor that we have on the Quest 3, where on the Quest 2, we we had the basics XR2 chipset, and that will make possible to actually get all these new generation games that are arriving, like Arkham Knight, probably GTA San Andreas, if that is gonna ever happen. This seems to be exclusive to the new headset because of the newer chipset. So that means that at the lower price, because at the end of the day, we're talking about a headset that tries to hit a lower price, we're gonna be able to play the same games instead of feeling left out because you didn't have enough money to buy the newer generation headset. So what's the catch here? Why are we saying that it's more similar to a Quest 2 than a Quest 3, just without some uh, big features? Well, that is starting from the screen and the lenses, because unfortunately, it seems like we're gonna have, as we were expecting, by the way, Frenal lenses, so the older generation lenses that were on the Quest 2, on the Quest 1, etc., etc., instead of the new pancake lenses on the Quest 3, that to be honest made a very big improvement, not just in visuals, but also on the footprint of the headset. Because with those lenses, you're actually able to make headsets that are much smaller uh, than what we had before to wear something that is not front heavy as it was the Quest 2. But yeah, this is not gonna be the case. Unfortunately, they have to cut costs somewhere and they decided to use the same screen of the Quest 2 that is gonna work up to 120 Hertz with a resolution of 1832 by 1920. Each eye that is a 20 PPD is probably gonna be a single LCD display, as we said, paired with Fresnel lenses with, again, the thing that I hated the most about the Quest 2, the three lenses position for different IPDs. So it's gone again, the fact that you can actually move the lenses as you want, like we had on the Quest Pro or on the Quest 3. Uh, we're back to the Quest 2 habit with a big part of the population is never gonna find the perfect sweet spot for them. And to be honest, baffling to me because the biggest upgrade from the Quest 2 to the Quest 3, it wasn't the screen, it wasn't actually the processor, even yes, it's much more powerful, but we didn't get games to actually enjoy it just yet. It was actually the lenses that personally and many others call the killer feature of the headset, the ability to just look around and feel like everything is finally clear, that you have a good vision it's it gonna be kind of gone again. And it's kind of sad to actually just save some money. I actually prefer to pay $50 more for the new lenses, even with a lower resolution, but the new lenses, uh, hopefully this is not the final thing. It's still a leak, so meta please do the right thing. Going on, gone is gonna be also the ability to move the face cushion back and forth like it's happening on the Quest 3. Uh, I don't think that this is a big loss, to be honest. Uh, that mechanism doesn't work very well. Anyway, the glass spacer is completely fine if you wear glasses anyway. Uh, you're just gonna wear glasses all the time, so you don't need to rearrange it every single second. If Meta wants to save some money, I think that is the right way to do it. Also, new headsets will come with new controllers, and these are gonna be exactly the same, like the Quest 3 controllers without the ring, so cheaper to manufacture again. And to be honest, I love these things. Uh, they work very well, they're very light, they're super portable to bring around. So let's get to the cool part and the reason why I added these eyes to my Quest 2. 
sensors. Here we're gonna have four IR tracking cameras like we had in all our previous headsets for of course the tracking. These are gonna be black and white cameras used exclusively for tracking purposes. On top of that we're gonna have two RGB cameras, 4 megapixels at 18 PPD pixels per degree uh, compared to the 20 of the actual visual, so it's gonna feel very good. And this seems to be the same cameras that we have on the Quest 3. So if you like the pass through there, it's gonna be the same. If you don't like the pass through there, still gonna be the same. You're not gonna like it again. To be honest, it's what I was expecting. We're not going up in value, so yeah or the same or less. And I'm glad that they kept the same resolution at least. And now this is where it differs with the Quest 3 because instead of the depth sensor that we have in the middle pill, over here, we're gonna have an external part, two AR illuminators for depth sensing. What does it mean? Well, this headset is gonna be able to actually look in the dark and work in the dark completely and the depth illuminators is a move that leap motion did like many years ago is actually something that helps quite a lot to differentiate the different depth planes so that means that you're gonna have a better way to understand the hand compared to the background when it comes to visuals from the other cameras. So yeah, it's not gonna be a depth sensor shooting like a IR rays, but it's gonna be able to help for depth perception as well. It's kind of funny that we have three different technologies with the Quest Pro, the Quest 3 and the Quest 2, but hopefully their software is gonna be good enough to actually adapt it to everything. What is the reason of these two IR illuminating sensors is actually the fact that you're gonna be able, as we said, to use it in the dark. So for media consumption will be much, much better. And it's gonna give the possibility to actually ship this thing without the controllers if needed to actually, you know, hit the lowest price possible. Because we know very well that for Meta, the price point is absolutely vital. They're always trying to go as low as possible to sell as many as possible of this thing and make people aware of VR. Completely contrasting what we're seeing with the Apple Vision Pro, for example, that went completely uh, the other way. It worked before with the Quest 2, probably even too well because still now the Quest 2 is overselling the Quest 3 when it comes to, you know, selling headsets. So uh, they have a big problem there where they're actually growing uh, the wrong category. So yeah, this came from a report from Bloomberg some months ago and it seems to line up with this league completely because if the price tries to be as low as possible, we can expect something for $199 with this configuration as you can see in $299 if you want also the controller suited to play games and not just to use it for multimedia experiences. So yeah, at the end of the day, from the leaks, it seems they're gonna have just a Quest 2 in aesthetic with the more cameras in the front with the two cameras for the tracking and two cameras on the bottom, very similar to the position that we have on the Quest 3 to actually understand the full app tracking, also the arms like we saw with the latest update. We're not gonna have these two cameras in front because the two are gonna be here. We're gonna have the two RGB cameras and the two AR illuminators on the external part that keeps Disconnecting for me, um, it's not working very well, this new Quest 3. What's a fan fact of all of these? Well, the, the Quest 3S is probably gonna be even faster uh, than the Quest 3 when it comes to games because the resolution is gonna be lower, but we're gonna have the same, you know, Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 running. Also, with the frontal lenses, we're gonna have a possibility to use a much more aggressive fix for the rendering to lower the resolution in the external parts because you know, with the front lenses, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna have the clarity anyway. So it created kind of a real paradox where the cheaper version works better in some games than the, you know, more expensive version of the Quest 3. But of course, we're gonna see if I was made out, we'll probably downclock the chipset, so I will have much more battery life, you know, for the same experiences that we have over there. But, you know, uh, we're still talking about leaks and we don't know if this is gonna happen or not. And uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna expect. Do you like it? Or would you rather pay almost double for the Quest 3 for better screen and better lenses? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you're actually waiting for the Quest 3S or you think that it's completely pointless and they should just push forward with the Quest 3 and create an even higher 
tier uh, with the Quest 3 Pro again, but you know, with a much better pass-through, uh, maybe even a more powerful chipset and um, you know, more FOV, more resolution. Let me know in the comments below. And as always guys, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like this, please like, subscribe to the channel for all of your tech. If you didn't check it out already, yesterday we made a video about Vision OS on the Quest 3. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to watch it and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.